Guess who's turning 100, but still causing traffic jams like a teenager trying to parallel park. Well, we're talking about the Liberty <laughs> Tubes, of course. Tomorrow, in fact, is the day they opened 100 years ago. It has been a wild ride for the Centurion twins. We sent Katie up to congratulate the great connector because a 100 year birthday doesn't come around every day. Good morning, everybody. Do we have a celebration in store this morning? We are in the Arlington neighborhood of the city of Pittsburgh, high atop the Liberty Tunnels, because that's right, they are turning 100 years old this year. And Paul is the man behind the magic here. You know everything about these tunnels. <laughs> Tell us all about kind of where we are, what we're seeing behind us. Yeah, so right now we are right smack dab in the middle of the Liberty Tunnels. Uh, Liberty Tunnels pretty much runs uh, a mile long and a this whole is mile. And I this smack dab that. in the middle. That's amazing. And then these stacks here, like this is the ventilation system, right? Correct. So when this tunnel was built right around the advent of the automobile, they were trying to find a way to get through this mountain, right? And right. then try to find a way also to ventilate it and keep the air clean. Yeah, so I mean, ventilation is very important when it comes to the tunnels. So this is pretty much gets the fresh air into the tunnels and then takes the bad air out of the tunnels. This is not a simple operation. No. You guys have a lot going on. You got a lot of people working on on this all of the time, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. What does it look like for your staff? Yeah, so I mean, we have a staff of about 75 people um, constantly working across uh, around the clock just to make sure that the tunnels are operating right and uh, things are running smooth. And now the length of them, I mean, if you were going to ask me to like pick even multiple choice, I never would have guessed one mile. Is that surprising to folks? It's, I mean, it's, surprising but it's just kind of the reality of the beast did uh, you ever play that game you got to hold your breath in the tunnel yeah. when you drive through it <laughs> as that a kid a that's what i used to do so, so. did i i yeah. don't know if i ever tried it in the liberty tubes you got to hold yeah, your breath that might be hard that might be hard to especially do especially with the light that could be dangerous exactly all right well we didn't celebrate 100 years for nothing right so right. we've got a cupcakes we've got our balloons <laughs> we've got our decorations hold on let me get my glasses on before we start singing and a one and a two and a three happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Liberty Tunes. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! All right, well, we decided not to light the candles because we're outside and we figured they would blow out anyway. But thank you guys so much for celebrating the Liberty Tubes. Thanks for all your hard work here, for keeping all of us Yenzers safe and protected here. And we're going to send it back to the studio and enjoy some cupcakes. What do you say, guys? Perfect. Sounds good. See ya. What? Cupcakes. What? Yeah, where are the cupcakes? I, I mean, we want to celebrate cupcakes. the Liberty too. Yeah, that was one heck of a party, actually, and truly a Pittsburgh landmark. I know. Yeah. Oh, that left-hand lane, though, if you're headed outbound. No. <sighs> yeah. Gosh, got to figure that out. <laughs> Again, happy birthday, Liberty too. Pittsburgh would not be the same without you. Still to come, our PTL pup is celebrating something big, too. He's found his forever person, and he didn't have to go far to find her. We'll have that news. Plus, Daisy's breaking a sweat for heart health. I guess you could say fitness. This Friday isn't missing a beat. Oh, and we're on the hunt for spring. She's out there somewhere. Runs in next with our weekend forecast.